We've had some debates in recent years. What's what's happening on that ah, front this yes, year? Yes, the debates. We couldn't resolve our own debate as to which particular topic that we were going to have, so we've got two debates. Um, and having done a debate myself, uh, my kind of take on the whole thing is that this, uh, you know, the schoolboy style thing where we have the for, for and against actually isn't necessarily the best way to really explore a topic because you know, everything is shades of grey, at least it is in my life. So um, we've decided to go for the moral maze format, um, which is uh, started out actually on television, but it's a radio show now. And um, the topics that we are going to explore in this way are um, the role of charities and um, whether the welfare charities really do what we want them to and um, also medicines regulations, particularly in the context of how that impacts on um, the horse as a food producing animal. So um, that's probably enough about that. <laughs> and uh, you're, a, you're a medic, your key interest are medicine. Yes. Uh, is there anything for the orthopaedics? Uh, yes, I believe there is. <laughs> Um, actually, the three of the committee members, to, to balance me, um, Renata Weller obviously is, is imaging, Tom Vitti and Matt Smith have put together a great programme. Matt has, um, going back to what I said earlier about the thoroughbreds, Matt's put together a racehorse and juvenile um, horse, a couple of sessions there. We've got quite a lot of stuff that will be of interest to the pleasure horse and uh, sports medicine group, so I mentioned Farrier already, um, we've got the world class performance and uh, physio type sessions that um, perhaps are more relevant to those who are working with um, sports horses, but um, actually I'm sad to admit that orthopaedics probably is as usual the biggest section. <laughs> Thanks very much Cillian.